What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new weapon guide with a new semi-automatic weapon arriving with Season 6 in Battlefield 2042. A big shout out to the EA Creator Network for letting me play Season 6 early, so the servers that I'm playing with is with other content creators, definitely a little bit more sweaty than the usual uh, servers. If you're very curious for the attachments that I recommend using, be sure to skip over to the last part of this video that's where I'm going through all the attachments and showing you what I recommend using to make this gun as best as it possibly can be. Saying that, I've not played with this gun for more than an hour, so it is hard to judge, but I kind of want to show you guys some gameplay and how I think uh, how you should play with this weapon. Uh, but keep in mind, the gameplay is only for about... 40 to 50 minutes total of playtime with this gun. Also, the gun that I'm playing with doesn't really suit this map very well. However, I think this might be one of the better uh, semi-automatic weapons uh, in the game right now. And why I'm saying that is because it's a two-shot kill. With the regular attachments, so the regular extended mag, there's no high power involved with this. Up to at least 50 meters, if not more. And there's also high power rounds, which I didn't test, but I definitely should uh, give those uh, a go. Even though you get 10 bullets instead of 20, the two-shot range might increase for another maybe 20, 30 meters, possibly. Can say that with uh, the exact amount, but I'm sure the two-shot kill range will increase. A 20-bullet mag with a semi-automatic with a decent rate of fire and it, it's a two-shot kill makes this for possibly the best semi-automatic weapon in the game i think the bsv will still be the better option because you can put that gun in auto fire but having a two-shot kill weapon just kind of beats the purpose of the svk and the other two shot weapons the svd and the g39 er if i'm saying that correctly with that came with portal so how you should play this weapon, it's a semi-automatic weapon with not the fastest rate of fire. However, up close, it can do 60-70 damage with a body shot. So it is not completely trash up close. And I got some really good fast kills up close. Beating the VHX, the other assault rifle that's coming with the uh, Season 6, which is a high rate of fire weapon. So this gun can kill very good up close, but you need to hit your two shots if you want to play like that. Wouldn't really recommend using it on this map. Because, again, it suits the more slower playstyle if you're playing with semi-automatic weapons. You do not want to be the player that's pushing. If you're playing defense on breakthrough or rush, it's going gonna, gonna to suit perfectly. And on the more open maps and the more slower paced uh, game modes, I would say. Because you get a lot more long-range gunfights. You can definitely challenge snipers with this gun. I need to do some more testing on what the damage numbers are going to be for longer range engagements. On this map, you don't really get longer range engagements than 80 meters max, pretty much. Everything is really close quarters. That's why I only played a little bit with this gun. It's very hard to use, but keep that slower place, uh, pace gameplay, and this gun is going to suit you perfectly. So if you're a little bit of a slower player or happen to play defense in certain game modes, this gun is going to suit perfectly, but avoid the close range situations with this gun. Keep your distance, and you can be still super effective if you're around the objective. Just do not be the guy that's actually literally on the objective having to hold the close range situations and you probably should just switch the guns so again this weapon doesn't really suit the map very well uh, so it's hard to say how uh, it's going to play on longer range maps on or how good it's actually going to be but it being a two shot kill and a 60 to 70 damage up very close like point blank it's extremely high for a gun with 20 bullets in one Mac. I'm curious to see how this is going to play out. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. It's not too much. And then the attachments later on. Enjoy. So for the G428, the semi-automatic weapon, I was using the 2 times scope and the XDR hollow. Both work great. Uh, you can test out higher zooms and I would definitely recommend putting up one of the thermals, especially for the new map where it's a little bit darker. It's going to work great. Um, also, what I was kind of surprised. So what I'm using in the uh, footage is the extended mag, actually. I'm not using the high power rounds, uh, but the extended mag. The extended mag has a increased rate of fire, better recoil control, but the reduced damage. However, it is still a two-shot kill up to about, I'm guessing 50 meters, do not have the exact numbers for this, but it felt like this. So actually very good two-shot range with 20 bullets in its mag. 
Um, if you want to go for longer range, go with that high power one. Uh, I also have the LWG grip because uh, I like to strafe a lot while shooting. Uh, not necessarily the best underbarrel to use uh, if you don't like strafing. The BCG light grip also works great. Um, and the Cobra grip if you struggle with the Rico. But I would recommend uh, sticking to one of the... Uh, the grips you can use laser sights the hip fire is actually kind of decent because the up close two shot kill is very um, Very it has a high power so you can kill players up close kind of quickly uh, Which would be easier with the laser sights personally. I really enjoyed the LWG grip and it kind of fitted my playstyle uh, tactical compensator with uh, again, it has reduced uh, spread, um, uh, increases recoil a little bit. Didn't really notice it myself, but having the bullets go in exactly where you're aiming is very necessary in this game to compete with other weapons. So these are the attachments that I was using. Uh, you can kind of mess around with the sides. I have yet to try the thermal sides, uh, but this uh, was working great. Especially the XDR Hollow was working phenomenal.